it here. Um, don't mind all the garbage. Got old brake drum. And I got another piece of line. I'm gonna try to run the other side a little bit better because I knew it was just a little bit longer. Uh, the other part store had this in stock. Um, so I called Chrysler and I said the passenger side rear brake line from the drum, or yeah, from the drum to the block is exactly 40 inches. So we're going to find out how good Chrysler really is. And they couldn't order me the uh, the things on diff cover. Hopefully the uh, diff cover I get in, I'll be able to use these. If you don't know what I'm getting ready to do with these, uh, make sure you stay tuned. I'll show you how to uh, use these bad boys. So yeah, let's get the hell out of here. My freaking gas light keeps going on. There it is. This is cool. Uh, the reason why this might this might be even cheaper um, than the other brands that you get. It's really not a big brand. You really don't see people use these. Um, but what I like about it, it has these ridge. A lot of them are just welded, and you paint them. What I like about it, it's got these big ridges, and that will help with, uh, you know, with you know damage or you know your diff cover if it's hit something. And the inside is amazing really good flat surface um they do got a little bit of paint on here but uh for 107 dollars you can't beat this diff cover it being metal it comes with the hardware and it comes with the uh, rtv sealant So you kind of want to do something like that on your pan, or you can do that on the uh, on the rear end itself. It's up to you, it's totally whatever you want to do. But make sure you get it right when you go to put it on. If you get a couple bolts in there, just go ahead and put your bolts around it. I should be able to hold this now. You cannot use your stock bolts, so when you go ahead and order a diff cover like this, make sure you get uh, bolts with it.
Kaya wala. Kaya isa pinawang natin dito. Check the color. I'm gonna kind of snug these up. Not too tight. kind of want to let the RTV sealant dry a little bit then you can tighten it down I'd give it about a half hour basically I got everything I need to put on there I'm still letting this dry I um, just want to kind of snug it down and get it kind of hand tight until it dries good enough where you can put your diff fluid in now don't freak out if you ever put a diff cover on an eight and a quarter um, some other rear ends they need to be a, there ain't no need to be alarmed with this because this is normal uh, any don't matter what kind of diff cover you get some of them are just made a little bit different and uh, this will be fine that's why it's got such a big area on it I don't want you guys to freak out so I'll go ahead and show you guys that because you can see as you can see the original one don't even seat there actually so you'll be fine on that this isn't when you guys to freak out but got all the brake lines run the right way and I couldn't get this part from Chrysler so I went ahead and that's what I bought them wire holders for. Right there. That's got me two 10 millimeter bolts, fine thread, and put them down in there and they fit perfect. And I got a little mud on it there. Got all the drums on. So basically, this thing's ready to put in. I just gotta get the yoke bolts, which I have those. So yeah. I've looked all over the place for a freaking alum head to go back in there. So I had to get a bolt and turn it backwards to actually get this out. Or you can get a nut and a boxed in wrench. But not me, I'm hillbilly. Don't have the right tools. I'm not going to go out and buy the tool if I can do this. They shouldn't be torqued too bad anyway. And the heck's got time to buy a freaking alum head or hex head that big. And it's out. And you got grease in it. Let's go ahead and put some fluid in there. better go ahead and put it in now because if you put it in watch under the Jeep it's a pain in here it is boys torqued all the bolts down and you see the Permatex is dried up Everything's all painted, all the brake lines are run. Just got to get the yoke bolts. We'll be ready to rock. Hopefully we can get this thing in there in the next couple weeks. Uh, we got to wait till it uh, clears up out here because I'm going to be working in the rain. I did clean up here a little bit. My rims. Yeah, it's pretty much done. What I like about this though, it's it's just not welds, it's actual bracing to keep it from uh, actually doing something like damaging something. So it has welds and it and it's braced. So this should do pretty good. And it's perfectly welded here and it's got synced back nut, synced in nut, so heck yeah. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. We got a lot more coming in the future.